was King Charles delivering secret message by leaving the big gap on the palace balcony. The climax of the annual troop in the color had some fans scratching their heads as a conspicuous gap was left in the family. The most anticipated part of the annual troop in the color ceremony is the climactic moment when the royal family appear on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to greet the public and witness a flyover by the British military aircraft. But this year's event had many royal fans scratching their head as to why there was an enormous gap as the family stepped out. Keen eyed viewers spotted some unusual gaps in the cluster of monarchy members towards the end of the service. In particular, there were a few awkward points left wide open between Prince William and King Charles. The firm has been slimming down and snubbing several royals who would normally appear alongside a monarch for the key moment. But a major gap between the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh and elder royals like the Duke of Cairns, the Duchess of Gloucester, turned a few heads. The gap appeared to be where formerly active members of the royal family would stand, and among the notable absences were the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, whose last appearance at the royal event together was at the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. Prince Harry had appeared briefly at the coronation of King Charles, his father, but did not hang around for extra events. Some other absences were also noted with lesser known names such as Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh's children, James, Earl of Wessex and Lady Louise Windsor missing. The Queen's cousin, Princess Alexandra, was also absent. The total number of royals in the balcony reached just 14, three fewer, three fewer than they were in the event last year. Royal expert Richard Fitz Williams told the Daily Mail, that the king was surrounding himself with the people that he really relied on. He added, this one is a strong force who portrayed of a monarch who knows his own mind and is very experienced. Mr. Fitzwilliam said Princess Anne's proximity to the king in the group portrait is so innocent, adding the fact that she is experienced and hardworking will have been noticed by Charles Planes from the Royal Navy, the British Army and the Royal Air Force took part in the six-minute fly pass, culminating in a show of red, white and blue from the pilots of the Red Arrows. The Ministry of Defence said aircraft took off from 15 locations up and down the UK before meeting in the southeast of England and flying over London. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.